everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently finished The Lies They Tell by Tuvia Tenenbaum, and honestly, I love Tuvia. And, uh, <laughs> he's very, very funny. He doesn't spare any, um, well, he's not PC at all, which I admire. I'm not PC either. And I have actually dealt with a lot of discrimination myself due to where I'm from. And I hate it because there was a lynching here. That's the only reason why people are so very afraid of my hometown. Even though it's not, I was born in Bloomington. So I usually just say I'm from Bloomington. But then again, people still look at me like I'm better than they are and holier than thou and it's really 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 frustrating and I was actually denied getting into library science because of where I live I kid not yeah and that was a long time ago but I'll never forget uh I really don't have a whole lot to say other than I just, I love the fact that Mr. Tenenbaum was very forthright and frank and candid in everything that he said in the different states that he visited. I wish he would have visited Indiana. I know Indiana is probably perceived by the rest of the world as being a very redneck state. There are rednecks wherever you go. <laughs> I have to admit that there might be a, a, a smidge of redneck in me, but not that much. And... I am, I love my country, don't get me wrong, but I am not what I would like to call a blind patriot, and he does talk to blind patriots in this book, that just, they have this whole mentality, they're ignorant, I mean, they just, it's not their fault, but people like that, I just have to shake my head and wonder why some people breed, excuse me, but he goes along this journey and talking to different Americans and breaching the subject of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and having friends from both areas. I, I love Israel and I love Palestine. I love both equally. Can I not love both equally? <laughs> I actually, I had a friend from Palestine and unfortunately my father ruined that relationship for me and I don't know where he is. He probably won't ever contact me again, but he was the most beautiful person I've ever met, and I was very fortunate to have him in my life, and he was a big Barack Obama supporter, and I don't hold that against him. I honestly like Barack Obama, a, a lot of things that he did. I don't agree with every one of his um, <coughs> plans that he had for America, but... Uh, let me just state this outright right now, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going to unsubscribe to me because of this. I hate Donald Trump. I do not like the man. I I know I voted for him, God forgive me, but I wasn't going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Uh, at, at one point in time, I did want to vote for Hillary because I, I thought that maybe having a Clinton White House again would not be such a bad idea because, hey, Bill balanced the budget, and I like I love Bill. Bill was amazing. I, I just think that he was a an amazing president. I, I think that he was outstanding. Uh, we need more of that. If, if we were going to have a real turnaround, I would think that we have to have a president like FDR. And that's just me going out on a limb. But both Roosevelt's were very good for the country. And it's just politics is... It's a huge sticking point for a lot of us, and we're more divided now than we were, unfortunately. And he brings that to light, and I love that fact. And politically speaking, uh, I took a test, and it said that I'm somewhat liberal, which makes a lot of sense. I'm, I'm actually conservative, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I lean a little bit toward the left and a lot of my um, ideals because I think that gay people should be allowed to get married. I think that even though I am pro-life, I do believe that a woman's body is her responsibility. 
And if she wants to ha be able to have an, I wouldn't do it myself, but if a woman wants to have an abortion, she should be able to have an abortion. I mean, it's, we have the right in our constitution. Of course, I, I don't condone third trimester abortions. I just think that's terrible. Stem cell research I'm thinking there are better ways and they're finding better ways. I'm not against it, but I'm thinking that it should be autographed rather than from fetal cells. Because I just, I don't, uh, that, that kind of, there's ethical boundaries. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of friends. I have a friend who is a lesbian. Actually, she's bisexual. And she has a life partner and they have two children, Luke and Leah. Imagine that. And... She's one of the best parents that I've ever met. She's like a sister to me. I've got another friend who dresses in drag, and he does an exceptional job of it. In fact, I, I use him as um, an icebreaker most of the time, and people are like, you have some interesting friends. Yeah, I do. I've got black friends. I've got friends who are just from every walk of life, and we get along just fine. But it's... Uh, People ask me what my affiliation is, what my um, political designate. I consider myself independent. I am, yeah, I am conservative in many, in many aspects, but I'm not a flaming conservative. I'm not a flaming conservative, nor am I a flaming liberal. I'm just right in the middle. And this presidency is really irritating me. And when I heard about Israel in the news recently and he talks about this too but I just thought oh god please don't let us go into World War III and he talked about Iran and I thought please let Iran be one of our allies because before we we have a reformist and they're saying that it's likely that they don't think of us as the great Satan not uh, not all of us are bad <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not one of the bad ones I consider myself a good person and of course he spoke of how uh, Mount McKinley was named Denali. I had no problem with that. There were some people that were thinking, oh, he's such a not an American. I thought, are you kidding? Look at what's happening to the Keystone Pipeline. That thing aggravates me because just being a, a person of the land, it just infuriates me. But that's neither here nor there. But he just, he talked to all these different people from all certain walks of life. And he actually went to the subject of the KKK. And my hometown was actually thought of as the, the origin. And it's not. If you look up your history, and this is actually true, the KKK was founded in Kokomo due to the fact that it had two Ks in its name. And all Hoosiers, well, most Hoosiers, those who are educated know this well. Those who aren't, those who are ignorant, look at people like me and say, you're racist, you don't like black people. I do like black people, I just don't date black people. And, and people are like, you're a hypocrite. I'm like, no, I'm not a hypocrite. I just, I don't find, I don't find black people attractive. I, I just, I, I don't. But I've got somebody, I got somebody from Nigeria who is interested in me, and you know what? I'm kind of starting to change my tune a little bit, and I thought, hmm, I never thought I'd see that coming. But he he actually is uh, not that bad looking. He is just sweet as he can be. I'm hoping he's not just looking for a green card because I've, uh, oh my God, I've dealt with this so many times. I I've uh, had. People from Honduras come on to me. I've had people from all countries, and and they know that if they can find, if they if they wheedle their way, that they well, not all of them are like this, but there are some that are. And I've I've met a great many lot of them. Trust me. Anyways, it's uh just a outstanding book. Very controversial. Very, very disturbing in the fact that um, it exposes a lot of the, dis the disparity and racism. And everybody's a little bit racist, like the song from Avenue Q says. And I probably am a little bit racist myself. But it <laughs> I don't know why it's so wrong 
to be PC. I, I am PC. And I will speak my mind. And I like to consider myself a good American person, even though I'm not a blind patriot. And I never will be, because I, I just feel like there are so many things that this country could improve upon <laughs> by following Europe's example. And we should. We think, oh, uh, let's just go ahead and do this and not do any research and, and back up your um, <clears throat> your information about why you're going to be trying this newfound way. And, oh, no, let's go, go ahead and stick with the, the past um, healthcare system that we have and just put a new name on it. Nobody will know the difference. No, no educated people know. <laughs> it's still Obamacare. I mean, there's... Obamacare is not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people, if they heard me say that, they would look at me and just say, you are crazy. I like Barack Obama. I thought that a lot of people were angry with what Michelle, I thought what Michelle did was great. I, I think the healthy eating program is very much needed in the schools, in fact. I, I, people, uh, Americans are obese. Come on. Oh, a lot of us are. Not, not everybody is, but it's just because we have the comforts at home and we don't, <laughs> you see, th this is the kind of thing that uh, Tuvia does to me. He he just uh, gets my wheels turning and he makes me think about what could be changed and what could be made better and just how we don't really know ourselves. It was This topic was actually brought up by an episode of American Gods and uh, I think we kind of lost sight of, of who we really are and what the Founding Fathers were trying to do by giving the middle finger to the British, basically. We didn't like taxing. We, we thought, we don't want a monarchy. We want to be independent. And we're just, basically, we're a, a, short a, a, a short-sighted child that's trying to figure what exactly we're supposed to do with ourselves as a, a superpower. And capitalism, and I'm going to get flame for this, but capitalism... Eh, I'm... I don't really care for cap. It's like me, 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 greed, greed, greed. Get which get everything I can. And just, you know, screw you. I don't care if you get hurt in the process. Socialism isn't the um, decided uh, solution to this problem either. Although I I like socialism better due to the fact that it's the many and. Uh, uh, the needs of the one outweigh the needs of the many. Uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the fewer the one. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But it should be looked at in that, that light. And people think, well, socialism is just one step closer to communism. Uh, not necessarily so unless the dictator becomes empowered. And, and then it can become com communism very easily. But uh, I was educated in that way, and that's how I understand. I don't think socialism's bad, and a lot of people would just shake their fists at me. It's like, how can you say that? You're you were born here, and I'm thinking, well, it's look at the look at what the community does, and the community's supposed. No man's an island. We're supposed to help each other, and I think that's one thing that we've lost sight of in the new technology technological age, and. Uh, the news is so one-sided, and uh, they dis they've been discussing Palestine quite a bit, and it's really depressing me. But I wish I could do something because I just I feel tied to both both lands, and I love them both. And people don't understand how I can. It's like why why do you love? Well, they're God's pe they're both God's people. We're all God's people. So why should I why should I hate? Hate is bad. Hate is. Hate is what causes wars, and he talks about how there are shootings and how uh, racism still exists. I mean, it may not be so bad as it used to be, but it's becoming more prevalent now due to um, Mr. Trump. Ugh, I, I, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that he, he does some good things, but... I feel like a complete idiot for having voted for him. I voted for Bernie. Bernie was my main choice, and I th I really wanted Bernie Sanders to, to win the election, and I would have loved to have had a Jew in office. I, I think that would have been awesome, but it didn't happen, and, well, you just got to live with it. You know, at first I was, I was with the Hillary camp, and, you know, people were shocked, and I thought, well, uh, I want a woman president. 
And uh, a lot of people say, well, she's a crook. And I'm looking back over my decision, and I probably should have gone with Hillary. And I wouldn't have apologized for it. I, I wouldn't have um, been one of those people that, <clears throat> well, politicians lie. I mean, it's just part, part of the, the course. And I don't know, it's, it's just, it's very challenging to talk about, but in essence, he discovers that we're just basically a melting pot. We are a melting pot, and we're all different in our own ways, but uh, for the most part, we're all good people. There, there are some, there are some, uh, and I'm thinking the solution lies in giving people skill sets, because people are not taught skills when they go into school. They just are given a general set of academia and this will possibly, well, it really doesn't, this this will give you the knowledge you need. Well, maybe for Jeopardy, but in reality, it ain't going to get you far. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that <clears throat> one thing that would definitely help is the fact that, um, there should be a lot of things like uh, just home ec should be reintroduced into schools. Shop class should be reintroduced into schools. There should be um, classes that teach children how to interview properly. I, I took one. It, it didn't really help me all that much. But still, it was, it was worthwhile. But... What I have to say about this book is it's, uh, I think that if you're a true American, you should definitely read it. It will, it will open your mind. It opened my mind. And I was thinking, I really didn't know that there was so much of a divide. And, uh, well, hmm, we know that it's been exposed more now due to our recent presidency. Um, I just, I do not... <laughs> I do not support this man. I I just I don't feel comfortable with this this the decision I made. I I feel duped. I feel betrayed, and I'm not happy with it. Uh, I will admit to that. But uh, hopefully he gets impeached and we can move on because we need somebody better than Mr. Trump. That's for dig on sure. And there was a time that I I wanted to move to Canada and be like, eh, why are you defecting? I'm like I'm not defecting. I'm looking for something better. I have the right. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I went through that. But I said, no, I'm going gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna to wait it out like, like a true trooper. Because that's just who I am. But this was another really it's just fantastic book. Very disturbing. Funny as heck. It, it was just hilarious in many different parts. And he talks about just... Um how different the states are and what uh, separates us. And uh, basically, I'm looking more for what makes us all part of the human race. And that way, maybe we're human, for one thing. And it's just challenging sometimes, especially with uh, this, the way the world is at this point in history and seeing... It it just feels kind of unstable, <laughs> I'll just say that. But uh, being the eternal optimist, I'm going to, like I said, see what happens. Even though Mr. Trump has been really rubbing me the wrong way <sighs> quite a few times. And I'm just thinking, well, at least as someone who is a comedian, I can make, I can make light of this and see the positive and the negative and just do what I can. Uh, I really don't have that much else to say about the book in and of itself, though it's uh, got really great photographs that he took with the people he interviewed with. And just the, the things that he learned along his journey. And... <laughs> Who would have thought that Henry Ford was an anti-Semite? I actually, you know what? It's weird, but I knew that. <laughs> I thought, how many Americans know this? And uh, 
Walt Disney was anti-Semitic too. With people think, oh no no no, shh, 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 shh. sweep that under the rug. We don't we don't want to no. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, uh, he was. But uh, you know, it's not about oh, it's actually, it it's a bad thing. I just I don't. I don't know what to say. It's it. I'm at a loss for words with just all the information that came at me when reading the book, and it only had <laughs> three hundred, four hundred pages, and it speaks of his uh, career. He studied Christianity. Oh, the irony! I studied Christianity too, and they uh, spoke of Islam and Judaism. And I enjoyed it very much. I didn't see anything wrong with either. We didn't go into Hinduism or Taoism or anything like that. But it's weird that a lot of people believe that the Founding Fathers were Christian when they were actually deist. <laughs> uh Ignorance is bliss sometimes. I, I guess um, I'm probably as ignorant as everybody else. <laughs> but um, hopefully we will continue the right path, on the right pathway, rather than barrel our way into destruction, which I'm praying to God does not happen. It's just a very arduous road and... Um, I don't really have a lot more to say than what I have said and uh, just the rant I wanted to get off my chest about who I am, what I believe, and why I feel the way I do. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. It, it was a really outstanding book. I, I loved every minute of it. A fellow magi uh, magician <coughs> suggested it to me, and thank you for that. It was, uh, I didn't know that he had written another book. This is the most recent. And, wow, it's definitely an eye-opening book. It, it frightens the hell out of me. But I don't know what I can do as just one person. I'll try to educate as many people as I can. But some people just can't be educated. Uh, I'll just, I'll do my best to live a good life and help as many people along the way as possible. Um, I'm just praying that the America of the future is better than what it is now. We're, we're still going through a lot of turmoil. There are a lot of people that are unemployed. They don't talk about the unemployed and underemployed too much. And the homeless are always a problem no matter what you do. And the factory jobs that left. And it's just... Like I said, capitalism, they're looking for an easier way to make money, and money is not the answer. The answer is in making making jobs available, of educating people, preparing them, giving them the skill set in, in order to go into a job world that uh, scrutinizes everything you do. And you may not be chosen. I, I had to go into a factory job because I had to make money. And I'm hoping that I can go into another factor job, <laughs> irony, to move forward. But I'm looking forward into actually getting involved with film and animation. I don't know how far that'll take me, but it's got to be better than what I'm doing now. This is not what I want to do. What I want to do is I want to enlighten and engage and um, better people through motivational work such as